Hey guys, today I am going to be doing my makeup using all of my current favorite products. Surprise, surprise, everything here is a drugstore. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. I'm going to start with the L'Oreal Anti Redness Primer. I don't even know why I bother explaining it anymore. <laughs> Should I try something else? Probably. Am I going to? Probably not. I use this primer almost every day. It just neutralizes that redness and starts me off with a perfect base. Because we are in the cooler months here in Australia, my skin can get a little dry, so I also like to go in with a glowy primer. And I've been dipping into the L'Oreal Glow Cherie Primer. This is in the shade, let me see. Does it have one? It does, Porcelain Glow. Actually running pretty low on this. When I used it the other day, I squirted it right into me damn eyeball. I just like to use a glowy primer in the cool of what? I can't I spook. I love using a glowy primer in the cooler months because it just makes my skin look so much more hydrated and because I'm not sweating my guts out, it leaves a really nice natural glow, not a I'm boiling hot sweaty glow. For foundation, I've actually been dipping into an old one. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection. If you saw, it would have been a couple of months ago now, I did a declutter and there was a bunch of products that I wanted to use up. I'm still getting through them and this is one of those products. But now that it is cooler, oh my God, this foundation works so well for me. I cannot believe it. It gives really nice coverage. It lasts for hours, like a good nine to 10 hours. It is still looking flawless. I was shocked. The only thing is that the color is a little bit cool toned for me. So I also have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation here, which is another one of the foundations I wanna use up. So I just put a little drop of this in because it is more yellow toned. This isn't one of my personal favorites. I just use it to adjust the color. Oh, my neck is so sore. I must have slept like this last night or something because it is aching just to turn my head. And I woke up hours ago. What the hell? In with my beauty blender and just bounce it out. Oh, my neck. <laughs> oh my God. So it has, I would say, a medium coverage. I can still see a few blemishes here. But because my skin isn't that bad at the moment, I don't mind. I kind of really like this coverage. For concealer, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. First, I picked up the shade L100, which is the fairest shade, but it is like super, super light. So when it was on sale, I went and picked up the next shade, which is L200, but I feel as like it's just as light. It has a slightly different undertone though. So this is L100, as you can see, it's quite neutral. And this is L200, which has a bit more of a pink undertone. This is my preferred undertone, but it's just really light. So I think I might mix the two today and see how that goes. I've really been enjoying a lighter coverage concealer, like not all the time, but just every now and then. Now this concealer, I did do a full review on it, so I'll link that video down below. It's described to be really full coverage and it's not, <laughs> for me anyway. It's definitely more of a medium coverage and it leaves quite a hydrating, radiant finish. It's really, really beautiful under the eyes. My next couple of favorites are cream products, so I'm not going to go in with powder just yet. Starting with the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. <gasps> I have not put this down since I bought it. I don't know, this cooler weather has really changed my makeup style. I'm dipping a lot more into cream and liquid products because I'm not sweating my guts out. I find they last better on my skin. So anyway, I'm using my Real Techniques sculpting brush. As you can see, it's cut on an angle there. And so it fits really nicely into the contours of the cheeks. And I just like to tap to blend. I don't pull it and like rub it against my face. I just pat it out. 
This is the second shade in the range. The first shade is called Amber and it's more of a cool tone contouring shade. So this is the lightest bronzing shade and I've seen it work on quite a variety of skin tones. So if you're super fair like me, it's still going to work for you. Again, I have a full review on this, so I will link it down below. It just blends so easily on the skin. It doesn't pick up any product underneath and it's really long lasting. Full blush, this is another product that is quite new to my collection, but I haven't put it down since. And they are the Fenty, no they're not. They're the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. So I have two shades here. These are the only two shades that are available in Australia. The first one is Bubbly, which is a really nice bubblegum pink. I originally thought this would be too pink, but it's my preferred shade. And this one is Pinched, which is more of a muted peach. It doesn't have a lot of pigment because it is quite a natural shade. And I do like quite a bold blush look, which is why I prefer the shade Bubbly. So anyway, I'm going to put a little bit of that onto my palette here. I've just tapped my finger into it and then I'm going to tap it onto the cheeks. Oh, seriously, my neck. I found that applying with the finger was the best way to apply it. It doesn't lift up any product underneath and it leaves a really nice sheen to the skin, which does just make you look nice and fresh and glowy, which is just what I've been about lately. Wow, I don't mind my voice at the moment either. As you can tell, I'm a little bit uh, croaky. I went out with my girlfriends on the weekend and we went out for dinner, got home at 2 a.m. and my old body just can't hack it anymore. Like I seriously feel a little sick. It's Wednesday. I went out on Saturday. <laughs> And then after I've applied the two liquid products, I just like to go back in with my sponge and blend around the edges. And now I will apply the powder. So again with my sponge, I will just blend out any creases under my eyes. I always need to powder under my eyes because I am a very creasy gal under there. And then I'm going in with my model's prefer powder and sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use a sponge. I'll use my sponge today just with a little bit and tap that as close to the under eye as I can, to the lash line I mean. And I like to bring that up to the side of my eye because when I smile and laugh and just throughout the day my makeup does crease in there. So I like to make sure that section is powdered. Then I'm going to powder my chin and just above my lip. Next for highlighter, I've actually found a highlighter from the drugstore that I really, really enjoy and it is the Revlon Skin Lights, hold please, Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. So it's a really nice pale gold colour. I get quite Amreezy highlighter vibes from this, but the Amreezy highlighter was still too dark for my complexion. This, look, if you go heavy handed, it can be too much. But I like to use this nice big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E61. It is literally just like a giant eyeshadow blending brush. I just lightly go into the highlighter and dust it onto the cheekbones just with a really, really light pressure. Oh, look at that glow. <laughs> I feel like this is right in between a metallic but glossy highlight. It is quite vibrant and bold, but the sheen it leaves is just, ooh, it's just something else. And from the drugstore, I am really, really impressed because I find it quite hard to find highlighters that leave this kind of finish within that cheaper price range. For brows, I'm just going to go in with my usual at the moment, which is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil and also the Brow Fast Sculpt Gel. And then I have the best product to show you. Oh my God, I need to get my brows waxed so badly. I find them so hard to fill in when they're not Tamed. Like this one is so much thicker. Okay, look, concealer helped a little bit, but mm, there's no fix in these, all right? 
they need some serious attention by a professional. So my new favorite brow product is this Emco Beauty. I'm pretty sure it's called the Feather Touch Brow Pen. It doesn't actually have the name on the packaging, but it's in the shade Blonde and it is a felt tip brow pen so that you can draw little hair like strokes. This product, well these types of products, I find just do wonders for my brows. I originally tried the MAC Shape and Shade, which is really good, but it's expensive. And then the Urban Decay Brow Blade, which is also really damn good, but one side has the felt tip and one side has the pencil. So I'm going to go through it so quickly and it's like $40 a pop. I know that Glossier does make a pen like this, but you can't get Glossier here in Australia unless you use a shipping service and that's an expensive brow pen. This Enco brow pen I got on sale for $9. I'm pretty sure it's originally $13. So anyway, let me show you what you do. Shake her up. And then I like to start at the front here and just draw up, a little flick up. And so it's just adding in these little strokes that just make my brows look so much more natural and hairy. I just want a hairy brow. Is that so much to ask for? <laughs> and up in the arch as well, because that is where I'm lacking a lot of hair. Now you don't have to use this with an entire brow done. Sometimes I just put in a bit of Sometimes I just put in a bit of brow gel and then go in with this pen. That gives a much more natural look. But oh my god, I just, like, look at the front of this brow compared to the front of this one. I like to flick it a little bit above the line I've made with the brow pencil as well, just to give it that more natural look so it's not so structured. I just, I think that has got to be one of my most favorite makeup finds over the last couple of months because it's a product that I have been looking for on the more affordable scale for so long and I actually did end up finding one by Rimmel but I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. For eyeshadow, I don't really have a favorite at the moment but I really want to dip into this e.l.f. liquid glitter in the shade Dirty Money. I'm just going to go into my Makeup Geek palette and use some browns in the crease and then I think I'll put this over the entire lid. I don't know, I'm scared because it's so dark but we'll see. Okay, so while I'm doing my shadow, let me talk about some of my favorite TV shows that I've been watching at the moment, which look, I really don't watch a lot of TV, but Shits Creek <sighs> has been my absolute favorite. We're onto the last season. I'm about halfway through, so no spoilers, please. But oh my god, is that just not one of the best shows you've ever watched? Like every character just cracks me up. I freaking love it. And oh my god, I still, I go back on YouTube and watch the scene with David and Patrick singing to each other, singing the best by Tina Turner to each other. I watch it so much, like it makes me cry every time. It is just... It's so sweet. I can't wait for their wedding. Another show that it's taken me so long to finally sit down and watch, and the only reason I'm watching it is because I have a friend's Stan login account, is The Office. The American Office. Like, I'm very, very late, but I'm finally here. I'm pretty sure we're up to season five or six. We just watched um, Jim and Pam's wedding. Oh my God. Seriously, they're just so cute. Jim is just the cutest. He's like a big, cute monkey or something. Like I see so many people use Office references and there's so many Office memes out there and like they're funny, but I never really 100% got them because I've never seen it. But now Clinton and I sit down with our dinner and watch a few episodes of The Office every night. I have been so excited on YouTube as well, watching so many of my favorite people fall pregnant, 
First of all, Desi Perkins. Next, Raw Beauty Christy. Oh my God, wasn't that just a big surprise? And then lastly, one of my absolute favorite Australian YouTubers, Crystal Conti. Oh my God, I have been watching her videos for years, like so many years. And then recently she uploaded her Trying to Conceive series and it was just absolutely heartbreaking, but also very eye-opening to the real struggles that people face trying to conceive and that's like all of them more beauty christie struggling for however many years same with desi uploading her fertility journey it's a real eye-opener and you know as a woman you just think you can get pregnant but it doesn't work that easily does it so i am just so happy for all three of these women to finally be pregnant and just be happy and you know getting what they want like it's just oh it melts my heart so what i'm doing is i'm using this angled shader brush i'm just tapping it onto the wand and then putting it on my eyelid just so i don't go too heavy even like this i'm getting a lot of pigment and then with a fluffy synthetic brush i'm just going to lightly blend around the edges Okay, so I'm just adding a bit more of that darker shade to the outer corners to help that blend. For mascara, my, <laughs> my favorite has been the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I do have long lashes, so I feel like most mascaras do a pretty decent job, but there is just something else about this one. It lengthens, separates, and just volumizes the lashes in a way that I haven't really noticed as much before in many other mascaras. So it has an hourglass shaped wand. Mine is nearly empty, so it's a little bit dry. Look at them lashes. Seriously. The formula is perfect from the get-go as well. This is something I say often about mascaras and it's at first the formula is too wet and so I feel like my lashes clump together. But this is perfect from the beginning. They don't clump together. They separate beautifully. It's just, it's become my favorite Maybelline mascara. And lastly for lips, I've really been into glosses and my favorite have been the Glass Glow Collection from BYS. These are a spitting image for the Fenty gloss bombs. I'm telling you now. It's got a nice big wand, which I love. They come in three shades. There's a clear one, a more pinky toned one, and this is called Glass Half Full. It does look quite pigmented in the tube, but once applied on the lips, it is quite sheer, and it just gives you the most glossy, voluptuous lips you ever have seen. Ooh, I shouldn't bop my neck around like that. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Hmm. Okay, that color was just a little bit off with the look. So instead I'm going to go in with a mauve colored liner. This is by Raw Cosmetics. It's in the shade Plum Pop. And then I'm going to go in with the clear gloss, which is the shade Crystal Glass. All right guys, well this is the finished look. Make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite products have been and if any of ours are the same. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up as it really helps out my channel. And if you wanna keep binging, I will have some more videos on the screen right now that you can go click on. All right, well thank you all so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.